All right, I've got the top part open. And when I was carrying this uh, on the inside, I could actually hear the chime rods rattling. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's pretty well packed. See, there's packing peanuts down in there. I'm gonna take this top layer off and show you what I find. Okay, I'm back. Uh, turns out uh, that was that was the only thing I have to remove to get to the clock. Now the door is right here. The door does not. I guess the pins came off and the door is now uh, separate. So I assume this would be the back because this would be covering the movement. And there's all these packing peanuts. So wow, look at that. Okay. So I assume this is the back and the front is on the other side. I don't know how I'm going to get this out without making a mess, but I will uh, figure that out. So I'll get back to you when I have an idea. Back and I have, I've turned the box over. It's pretty windy today, so these peanuts I'm going to have to clean up later. So I'm going to try and see if I can move this with one hand. If not, I might have to put the camera down. Let's get all this paper out and if you want a hint to what it is this clock has something that no clock I've ever owned has and I kind of hinted at it before with that rattling noise I said I heard let's move all this let's see if we can get this out of here all right there we go This is the clock in its packaged glory. Okay, this actually looks like it's the back because I can see the suspension spring. So I think this is just protecting the glass. Now, if the glass is broken, that's no big deal. Uh, I can just buy a new one on Time Savers. So let's get this out. So here's how big it is. Uh, about the size I was expecting, and I'm going to cut all this bubble wrap off and uh, hopefully get inside. But first, I'll have to clean all this up. Hey, I just had a glass of water. I cleaned up all the packing peanuts, and here is the clock. And there is the pendulum as well. This came with no key, so I'm going to cut this open. <clears throat> All right. Like I said, this clock is a first in my collection. So I'm not going to do this with one hand. That's not a smart idea. But I will show you the clock as we get closer, layer by layer. All right, I am down to the last layer of bubble wrap. Clock is a, is a bit taller than I thought. You can see the front there. That is the front of the clock. Around here is the back with the movement. So I'm ready to take off this final layer. Let's see if I can do it with my one hand. And again, that's probably not a good idea. I shouldn't be doing that. So. See you in three, two, one. Here it is. Waterbury Westminster Chime Clock. It's from about the 1920s, and this clock weighs a lot, I must say. Let's go around back. Now, I've already noticed a couple issues on my first look back here. Uh, the chime rods, they are touching down there at the end, so those need adjusting. And the movement is kind of off, crooked in the case, and so is the seat board. Well, the door is also gone too, so. Well, it's right there, it's not really gone. I will do a actual video on this, not just the unboxing, really soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.